Hello, for this problem, um, we're going to use Excel. It says the amount of pollutants that are found in waterways near large cities is normally distributed with a mean of 9.1 ppm and standard deviation of 1.3. 35 randomly selected large cities are studied. Round answers to four decimal places. <clears throat> okay. What is the distribution of X? Now, when you're talking about the distribution of X that's normal with the mean and the original standard deviation, which we were given the mean was 9.1, standard deviation was 1.3. But when you do the second one, which is um, the lowercase x with a line over it, a mean from a group or a sample, then the mean is still the same, 9.1, but the standard deviation changes. The standard deviation becomes, you take the original standard deviation and divide by the square root of n. So this answer would be the 1.3 divided by the square root of, it's not going to let me type it, but the square root of 35. We could do it over here, equals 1.3 divided by square root of 35. And that's how they got the point 2197. So if you're using a sample like part D says 35 cities, then this would use your answers from part B. The first one is what's the probability that a randomly selected city? That would use part A. So it all depends on the wording which one you should use. So if we look at the oh, C. What is the probability that one randomly selected city waterway will have more than 8.5 ppm pollutants? Okay, equals norm, and it's a normal distribution, so we double click on it, and then we put the x value, which was 8.5, comma, the mean, this was one randomly selected city, so we use part A's answers. 9.1 comma 1.3. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And what, oh, I forgot. <clears throat> the cumulative part under the curve is um, total of 1, 100%. And so you put a 1. Okay, now this is the percent below. We wanted the amount above, so we want to take right below it. I'm going to put equals, 1 minus, and then the answer I had gotten. Hit enter. So then it's 0.67779. Well, we're rounding 4, so 0 0.6778 um, would be above because together they need to add to 1. The second one, we're doing the same thing, but it's for the 35 cities. And so our mean is still the same, but we're using the standard deviation from part B. Now what you could do, if you go into the one that we did before, the normal distribution, you can click on it and then change the 1.3 to the new standard deviation, point two one nine seven, hit enter, and then it will adjust it, and that's how they got the point nine nine six eight, because this would be over, this would be below it. For part D, is the assumption that the distribution is normal necessary? No, it is not, because our sample size is large enough. Find the IQR for the average of the 35 cities. So the quartiles, we're using 
the numbers. Now remember quartiles, um, have are broken up by quarters. So there's 25% of the data below Q1. So if we went equals norm, this time we want the inverse because we have the percent. We want to type in the value. Now for probability, you're putting percent below the value. And Q1 has 25% or 0.25 below it. Then our mean, 9.1, and our standard deviation. This one was the 35 cities, so we use the 0.2197. And hit enter. And there's your value for Q1. To find Q3, again, norm. Oops, I didn't, you always have to remember to put your equal sign for an equation. So equals norm inverse, so it's the second one. Now, the third quartile has 75% of the data below it, 0.75, comma, the mean, 9.1, standard deviation, 0.2197. For the IQR, you just subtract these two. So equals Q3 minus Q1. And point two nine six four.